My name is Scott Reese. This is my wife, Marcy. We are a blended family with four amazing children, all in high school. We've attended the NAS for a little over two years and are incredibly blessed to be part of this church family. Our men's leadership team was looking for ways to evolve our ministry. As we were praying and having discussions about it, I looked around the table and realized over half our team had experiences being part of a single parent home, either by being a single parent, marrying a single parent, or being the child of a single parent. God pressed on our hearts a need that exists not only in our community, but in every area of our church. Like the faith of a mustard seed, it grew from there. It wasn't just an idea, it was a calling. After unexpectedly becoming a single mom, I found myself with full custody, raising two highly energetic and amazing children, aged two and four. During those years, I worked full time and I didn't have much help from my family as they lived many hours away from me. My time as a single parent was relatively short and my family was close, but I still struggled providing the emotional support my children needed during a very traumatic time in their lives. Between work, moving twice, and doing the daily duties alone, I felt inadequate, guilty, and exhausted much of the time. I was run ragged just trying to keep up with the necessities of life. It was exhausting dealing with a perpetually leaky basement that I couldn't afford to fix, broken dishwasher, shoveling heavy snow, mowing the grass. I won't even talk about the fight I got into with the weed whacker. I couldn't be in two places at once, between work, daycare, karate, baseball. I relied on a lot of other people to shuttle my kids around. And even something as simple as a snow day would throw me into a panic about how I was going to manage both work and my kids. And then there was the emotional aspect. So many nights I found myself singing Jesus loves me to the kids and crying ourselves to sleep. At age two, my daughter memorized the Lord's prayer because when words wouldn't come out and I didn't know what to do, it was what God gave me to say. It was emotionally exhausting and humbling and more than any one person should do alone. The church I was attending at the time became like family to me. They helped me in so many ways, including with gas, groceries, home repairs, watching the kids. And well, on Christmas morning, they even gave me a gift to put under the tree so the kids wouldn't think that I was on the naughty list that year. What a blessing they were to us. There were many physical tasks I could handle, but still struggled to provide the quality time the kids deserve, as well as not having the income to do the fun things we used to do. During that time, many loved us by inviting us on their vacations, babysitting the kids, and even doing little things like sewing clothes and repairing toys. Those things meant so much to us and I will cherish them forever. 